Hundreds of trucks were seen queuing on the Lena Highway in Amora region and neighboring Sakayakudia after heavy snowfall drastically worsened road conditions. Local authorities had to close the highway near the Nagorni settlement in Sakayakudia, which stopped traffic completely. The continuous snowfall and steep drop in temperatures over the weekend trapped many vehicles on the way to Yakutia from the Trans-Siberian Highway with some of them sliding into ditches. Rescue services arranged heating stations for drivers and helped them to tow their stalled cars. The highway was reopened later on Tuesday. В результате ограничения движения возле населенного пункта Нагорный Нюрнгринского района наблюдается скопление грузового автотранспорта более 230 единиц техники на протяжении 9 километров трассы. Водителям подготовить транспортное средство для движения в сложных условиях. Главным управлением ЧЕД России по Амурской области организовал работу мобильного и подвижных пунктов обогрева для обеспечения водительского состава всем необходимым. Работы будут продолжены до завершения и стабилизации обстановки. A Russian man was rescued in the stormy sea of Okhotsk after surviving for more than two months in a tiny inflatable boat that lost its engine, but his brother and nephew died, officials said Tuesday. The prosecutor's office in the far east of Russia said that the man was rescued Monday by a fishing vessel off the Kamchatka Peninsula. It didn't name the survivor, but Russian news reports identified him as 46-year-old Mikhail Pachujin who in early August set on a journey to watch whales in the Sea of Okhotsk together with his 49-year-old brother and 15-year-old nephew. Their bodies were reportedly found in the boat when the Angel fishing vessel rescued Pechujin. Media reports said the three men traveled to the Shantar Islands off the northwestern shore of the Sea of Okhotsk in early August. They went missing after setting off on their way back to Sakhalin Island on August 9. A rescue effort was launched but failed to locate them. Russian media reported that the trio had a small food ration and about 20 liters of water when their engine failed and they found themselves adrift. Pichujin weighed about 50 kilograms when he was found, having lost half of his body weight, news report said. He didn't immediately say how he managed to survive in the Sea of Okhotsk, the coldest sea in East Asia and known for its gales, and how his brother and nephew died. When the crew of the fishing vessel spotted the tiny inflatable boat on their radar, they initially thought it was a buoy or a piece of junk, the Komsomolskia Pravda newspaper said, but they turned on the spotlight to make sure and were shocked to see Pechujin. A video released by the prosecutor's office showed an emaciated man in a life jacket desperately shouting, come here, and the crew working to pull him back to safety. I have no strength left, Pechujin said as he was taken to safety. Prosecutors said that they launched an investigation into the incident on charges of violation of safety rules that resulted in deaths. Вот одна, да, вот, вот вторая, вот, да.
По предварительной информации, 9 августа текущего года двое мужчин и 15-летний подросток, сын одного из них, на лодке катамаранного типа выдвинулись от мыса Перовского Николаевского района Хабаровского края в сторону Ахинского района Сахалинской области. Через какое-то время связь с ними была утеряна, местоположение судна оставалось неизвестным, проводились поисково-спасательные мероприятия. 14 октября около 22 часов катамаран был обнаружен проходящим мимо рыболовным судном в акватории Охотского моря в районе села Усть-Харюзова Камчатского края. Два человека погибли, один остался в живых, ему оказана первая медицинская помощь.